Happy holidays, everyone. <laughs> it's Nick Pond and Jay Lamb from Lemons HQ. We're just returning from the Lemons Arse Freeze of Palooza at the brand new Chuckwalla Valley Raceway. Now, as with all new venues that we go to, we warn them weeks, months in advance about how incredible the volume of people and RVs and stuff that come with the Lemons Race, and they always ignore us, and they never have enough staff or whatever, the line out the gate looked like the end of Field of Dreams, and the track itself is way out in the middle of nowhere, and so we had to commute like an hour to get there. Well, you guys did. Now, what Phil and I said, we're really smart. We're going to rent a trailer from the track. They have these rental trailers. It was like 30 years old, and when you buy a trailer, when you rent a trailer, you expect it to have two things, a lot of fresh water and no poo in the poo closet. This, in fact, had the diametrically opposed balance. That was hell of butt terrible. And so then Phil and I are in there, it's midnight, Phil is snoring away, there's some dude grinding on his car like right outside. Oh, it was so butt terrible. Never again. Also butt terrible were the giant American cars that came out to this race. We had Hot Rod Magazine, we're there in a Plymouth Fury, and a couple other, there was some old circle track car going around. And they were all butt terrible, with the exception of the Olds member, yeah. which totally dominated. Somehow it. totally rocked. For some reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now there was some hella sweet stuff though. There was the Sonda. This is a Honda N600 Coupe, wide and stretched, with mid-engine Saab 900 turbo power. What could possibly go Man, wrong? It ran great. Yeah. And there was uh, the new penalty, the take these fools to the airport penalty. You got three guys who were desperate to get to the airport, which is quite a way away. You got to stick them in your race car and shoot the hell out and get them there on time. That was kind of sweet. And since we didn't have nickels for this race, we decided to write our checks for the winners on a couple of pieces of concrete Jay found out in the desert. That yeah, was hella that sweet. That was hella sweet. All right, here's your winners. <laughs> Heroic fix for this race went to the Sharks. Now, the Sharks were already kind of on my bad side from the start of this <laughs> event. They were a late entry. We agreed to let them in because the team captain promised that he would bring some European supermodels. And I never believed him. They totally did not bring no, European they did not. supermodels. No, they didn't. And as karmic retribution, <laughs> They totally got smashed up the bunghole by some dude in a hoopty on day one and it's caved in their entire rear suspension, turned their control arm into a pretzel, and they say, well, we may not have supermodels, but we do have bad judgment in a welder. So they cut the control arm into pieces, straightened it out, added some metal for some road signs or whatever, and straightened it out and got back on track, and I gotta give it to them. That was yeah, heroic. That was pretty heroic. What was not heroic was the winner of the I Got Screwed Trophy, Billy Beer Malays Forever. This is a 79 Ford Fairmont Futura. They got that straight six lump of a Ford, I don't know, what is it, a 250? Thing is indestructible. It's made out of pig iron, except they managed somehow to throw a rod right out the side into the fender. It was horrible. And they said, oh, well, you know, no problem, because we have another one of these indestructible engines. Took them forever to put this thing in. Two bolts in the front, two bolts in the back, and two wires. It's the easiest thing in the world. Took them forever. They finally got it back in. They got on the track. Two laps later, bang, rod out the other side. That was but terrible. They got screwed. Special award for this event was the Grizzled Desert Survivor event. These guys found a Ford Falcon parked out in the desert somewhere. They dragged it out, turned it into a really convincing race car. It was awesome. Yeah, that thing was super cool. The judge's choice, also super cool, a Renault Le Car. I mean, you can't get more lemony than that, right? It was pulled along by, was it the Little Tykes Kitty Coop? I believe it's the Cozy Coop. Yeah, that was really nice. So these guys went around and around. Every lap it looked like this thing was totally ready to flip over, but it made it made it just fine. Judge's choice, very cool car. Organizer's choice for this race was a rookie team made up of all women. They were called Viva La Volva, and they brought a Subaru Brat, which is a car that we've always wanted to see, and a car that's been promised to us by many other teams. Yeah. I saw racing, in yeah. fact, West Coast Powerhouse bought a Brat, yeah. and said, oh yeah, we're gonna turn this into a Lemons car. Next race, you'll see it. Yeah. And they keep bringing their Mazda Miata. Yeah. Have we seen their Brat? We have not. We have not. Now these guys, first time out, yeah, we brought a brat. What's the big deal? No problem. We're cool. We got a good attitude. We're not gonna piss anyone off. Yeah. Why is it so hard for everybody else? Yeah. Organizer's choice. Yeah, totally easy. And also totally easy. Index of effluency. This was pit crew revenge. 
They brought their, what is it, a 1979? I mean, it was horrible. An old, old Cadillac Seville, one of these front drive V8 pieces of crap. It's just the thing, in Casino, when you see Robert De Niro walk to his car, and then he gets in, and for about a full second, then you see a mannequin in a horrible Robert De Niro suit, and then it blows up. It was one of those. So they called it the Ace Rothstein Special. They all walked around in leisure suits. They had cool cocktails glued to their hands. And uh, then the car just went, brrr, went around. Totally awesome. Index of effluence. And that does it for the Lemons R's Freezer Palooza. So we'll leave you with Lemons in a Nutshell.